Welcome back to Rocky Knob Farm and our YouTube channel. I'm Jason Eakers and it's getting closer to the end of February and we're going to start getting our high tunnel ready for uh, planting. We're going to go ahead and till it up today and try to get the soil prepared so that we can lay down our geotech fabric. We've got a few stakes to pull. Uh, we have many in here when it was really cold and uh, get those pulled up so we can get in here till good. And we got into a little ditch job behind our high tunnel. We got some gravel. And Ellison got to ride in the dump truck. He really enjoyed that. spot here in our high tunnel I dug out this upper part of this ditch I hate to use 57s because it's a little bit dusty but they didn't have any river rock and we're trying to drain this a little bit better and we're doing a clutch for a customer it's getting that time of year everybody's wanting their tractor ready Lydia come by and saw us we had a good time with her So Tab's got everything uh, growing good in the greenhouse and we started running low on room. So she wanted to try to get the old greenhouse up and running and try to get the heat lit up and the heaters quit. So I had to go buy a heater and I figured we'd go ahead and put new plastic on it while we're, we're at it. Uh, as you can see, this is a cattle panel homemade greenhouse that we had built. When we first got started a few years back it's probably eight years old and it's worked pretty good for us um, she started out raising our plants in this and it makes it pretty easy to heat um, it's pretty cost effective as far as how much money you have in it i think i had under 500 dollars when we built it but we've got it up and running and got a new heater in it again uh, it ain't nothing fancy but she does got some plants in here and we need to get some more shelving back we actually robbed the shelving when we built our new greenhouse and we got a brand new gas heater which this does really well and if you've been with us a while you probably remember we raised some chicks in this little brooder but we'll go check out her other greenhouse and see how she's coming along in there And as I was saying, she's starting to run out of room. So 
So the white hanging baskets we try to have ready by Mother's Day. And the big baskets, well, they're like pots in the floor. They go in hanging baskets for a local city that we sell to, which they're very big baskets. Uh, it takes a lot more plugs to fill it up and dirt, but they are be very beautiful baskets. Well, there's you an update on what we've been doing. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.